degree, it doesn't sound like they know much about life. Josie, good to talk to you. Thank you. But uh, as promised, let's now cross live to the CEO of Fair Money, personal finance and credit expert, Dr. Roger G. Wolb. Morning to you, Dr. Roger. Good morning, Christo. Always good to talk to you to find out the latest that we should be, uh, well, worrying about, frankly, um, certainly when it comes to our finances. But just before we do that, um, well, I suppose this all ties in with the cost of living crisis and how to survive it, because what we've seen in the US overnight is these figures around inflation and uh, as we were just talking to Richard Hunter about and the fact that inflation hasn't had this huge rise in the states and a lot of it is being put down to the fact that their fuel prices have been kept low. Um, What lessons could we learn on that here in the UK regarding our cost of living crisis? That's an excellent question, Christo. Um, Yeah, the answer is, there's a big answer, and the answer is petrol. It is a word I've been banging on, uh, on this station and others for the last couple of months, that we don't hear from the politicians. And our candidates uh, for leader of the Tory party and prime minister have not, as far as I can see, used the word petrol or diesel in a debate or the hustings that i've seen at all it hasn't been mentioned it's actually our biggest problem we're ta- i mean war in ukraine everything else we, we've got you know an awful lot of problems but um heating and energy it, it, we're worrying about what's happening this fall and this winter but right now millions and millions and millions of people can't get to work can't see their families can't do the things we all have to do without as i did the other day having to put almost a hundred pounds into my tank um and nobody's doing anything about it Uh, as you know and you're the man who announced it there's a triple not a double tax on petrol in one of our conversations recently you pointed out that there is 53% 53% almost fuel duty on, let's say, a one pound 80 liter of petrol. There's then 30% more of a VAT, and that VAT is on the fuel duty as well as the actual petrol tax on tax. And then you chimed in and said, Yeah, and the pounds that we use to pay for them have already been taxed before they got to our pockets. So it's a triple tax, which is ridiculous. And the government has done nothing about it. Um, the petrol companies. Well, they have done they would argue about. that they have made a small cut in fuel duty, but one of the ways in which there seems to be a bone of contention between the two candidates, and this is a more general point about tax cuts, and of course fuel duty is a tax. You seem to have Liz Truss on the one hand saying, because you know I agree that, you, that something the government could do immediately is cut income tax, get rid of the national insurance, and cut fuel duty. That puts pe- money in people's pockets almost immediately. You've got Absolutely. Liz Truss saying, yes, I would do that. She said she'd look at fuel duty, but she said that she would immediately cap, get rid of the national int- uh, national insurance rise, etc. Rishi Sunak is saying, no, that would fuel inflation, so that's why he won't do that straight away. Who out of the two of them is right? Uh, neither, I think. The point is oh. that... <laughs> that's that's back- not great news. <laughs> great. Uh, no, I'm, I'm afraid it doesn't look good. It doesn't look good. And then we've got Boris weighing in doing kind of a, a David Cameron post-Brexit disappearing act. I mean, I wonder if, if if Boris is going to be seen soon at garden centers looking at sheds. And he said, I'm not going to get involved. Uh, and this will Which have is to September and maybe, and maybe even October. And then, and then last night, yesterday afternoon late, and last night we now have, I love this one. This, this is the one that's really got steam coming out of my ears. Oh, we've got the energy companies saying, Come the 26th of August, when we announce the price cap that's effective in October, we're going to start increasing your direct debits in order to protect you. Now, I want to know, when you take my money and hold it without paying me interest, and you you have the billions and trillions from the British public in your bank account that you took out of mine that you don't need, and my account is in credit, my account with the gas company was once in credit 3,000 pounds. I hadn't noticed they'd taken that from me. When you do that, how? what kind of idiot people do they think we are to believe that this is to protect us and smooth things out? Do you know what one of the the best things you could do is get get an online account? The best thing you can do... 
The best thing you can do is Google my surname, Gewolb, G-E-W-O-L-B, and the words direct debit, and you will see a video <laughs> yes. that I made some time ago about how to handle direct debits. Most people think direct debits are controlled by the energy company. They're not. They're controlled by you. They're an accommodation. If you cancel your direct debit, and if you call up the bank and say, I want my money back, they have to send it to you under the direct debit indemnity program. The, the other thing you could do, which it's is a, what I do, the moment they tell me that they've put up my payment, is I'm, I'm lucky enough to be able to n navigate. Well, m mine does. I'm, I'm with an energy company that, thankfully, it does. But I get an email, very helpful, to say, oh, we're putting up your energy company, by th your energy direct debit by £300 a month. Something ridiculous. And I just go straight onto my online account and I bring it straight back down because you're okay. right i'll be in debit with them they're not going to be in debit with me because well, they, okay. they can afford except it that, <laughs> except that off has has after being pushed has finally gone after five or six companies that aren't even telling people they've done it yeah that's it's, terrible it's just, that's it's, outrageous it's, it's outrageous so so the number one thing to answer your question is we can do something about the cost of petrol which at the moment is our biggest problem the heating of the house and the water is going to come later in the year now why is it different than the states because they have a different set of circumstances and the inflation factors there are are not the same uh, the wages growth is higher than here so they have more of a reason to raise interest rates we were wrong for the bank of england to raise interest rates nuriel robini uh the uh, very famous american economist even said yesterday that even the states will regret raising interest rates it's the wrong thing to do in this kind of inflation where it's not being driven by consumer demand he said they have set a trap for themselves and uh, many people here uh, alex brummer the city editor of the mail said that uh, the blundering andrew bailey of the bank of england and his colleagues will regret raising interest rates and they'll probably have to go set them back down again. yeah because of the so fact that it will put people under problems. more pressure and possibly create a, 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 a recession listen we've got one minute to tell me about stagflation if we weren't upset enough about inflation what's stagflation and what's happening well well i i have a friend he's a he's a medical a doctor friend who called me up the other day and said listen roger what's flag station i heard it on the radio i said flag station so i started to google it and then i thought i said wait a minute are you talking about stagflation huh. and he said oh yeah that might be the word <laughs> so stagflation is 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 the long COVID of economics stagflation is where you have persistent long uh, low growth and long inflation and it just lasts forever and you know in the case of long COVID uh, economics the bank of england uh, is the wuhan laboratory i'm afraid and if it comes here as rubini has said it has in the states we're in real trouble and everything that's happening now with the energy companies pushing people even more uh, with their direct debits with the interest rates why should you pay more money i get it so we, 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 it could be on money. the horizon for us to roger d Wolb, thank you very much as always that's dr roger d Wolb. in the next 30 minutes we will